Hey guys, how we doing? It's me, Glory, and today I am coming to you with the Mrs. K's Cuttables Monthly Challenge. Our challenge this month is Anything Goes. So definitely go and grab one of the freebies and make a card out of it and come and join us. We are in face on Facebook on Mrs. K's Galleries and then you can also go to the blog and it'll direct you straight to the all the instructions for you to enter in the challenge and it's for two weeks guys so don't forget go grab your freebies and enter to and join us so today i am using this paper pack and this is from dcwe it's called birds and butterflies and i end up using two files for mrs kate's cuttables and the two files that i used was one file was called the nested labels and then I used a cupcake file, okay? And you can get those files in the 50 cent store, okay, guys? So don't forget, go grab your freebies, come join us, and see all the other projects that everybody enters, okay? So my card is going to be, what size? Again, a four and a quarter, no, four and a half by five and a half. And it's going to be a eight, four and a quarter by five and a half. It's going to be a two size card. And I already decorated the inside of the card. And the inside of the card says birthdays are good for you. It is proven that more the more birthdays you have, the longer you live. Celebrate your, your day. And those stamps I end up using is from my creative time with Emma. Celebrate your day. Then I end up using this Inky Dinky Doo stamp set and it's for the flourish. Then I use the Scrappy Mom stamp set and this one it says good uh, birthdays are good for you. And this set right here is retired guys. So if you can find it off of a person that's trying to do these stashes, that's the only way you'll be able to get these stamps. And this is the Sassy Pants. And then I have the sweet somethings and this one is hey cupcake and that one's for the front of the card so this is what the inside of the card looks like so let's start decorating the outside now for the outside okay, let's straighten up my camera a little bit now for the outside of my card i have these layers and so i have the first layer that's going to go right on top of this card and it's going to be the full layer. So, like I said, guys, I created this card base. So, if you take two of the same shape and you weld them together, you will make a shape card. And then whenever you do that, you always have to remember you lose some spots right here. Up on, not some spots, but you lose uh, a little bit of your cut. So, you want to cut the first layer again. So, you have it completely whole. So, when you turn it... You see how you can you lose that much so then the card in the front will look full okay so then I have that layer I have my purple layer and then my design layer so I'm just gonna go and at, put some ATG and then we're gonna adhere all of this and then add it to the front of my card So I hope everyone's doing really good. Don't forget, definitely come and join us. This is awesome. This also helps you guys to, you know, uh, motivate yourself. If you lost your mojo, you can come and see the design team members, uh, what we end up using and the projects that we do. And then also, you know, just uh, everybody that joins in on the Facebook group, they also share their projects too. Okay, so now I'm just going to add this to this part. And then what I ended up doing was taking another cut and I got a square and I sliced it right in the middle. So I made a little trim to go right down here on the bottom. So I'm just going to add some ATG to that really quick. Okay, and that's what that looks right there. And then now I'm going to add ATG.
And I'm going to add some to the middle to make sure that it's going to stay. And I'm going to flip my card over. And now I'm going to position this right in the middle. And I want to make sure that it's going to, because this is going to be the front of the card. So I want to make sure that the whole card gets full because it's the same shape, guys. It's just a little bit less on top, and that's why I'm using a full card base. Okay. And that looks not that bad. Okay. So there goes the card. Oh, that looks so pretty. I love these colors. These colors are amazing. So for my cupcake that I end up using, I end up cutting this cupcake out at 2.5. Two and a half, and here goes my cupcake, and it is so sticking cute, guys. I end up popping it up to kind of give it a little dimension, and I'm going to add this right down here. So I'm just going to use my wet glue. And now I'm just going to add this right in the middle. And then before I actually, I want to make sure I got enough room for my, yes, I got plenty of room. Okay, so now I'm just going to press down on it so that it adheres. And then I have part of my cherry mounted on foam because since my cupcake is popped up, so it wouldn't be laying straight down. So with the foam tape, it will it will lay down, and I think I want to put the cherry right there, and then I could press down there, and that will give it. I might need to do a second layer. Hold on one second. So now it should give Okay, I'm just going to add some extra glue and Now I'm just going to add this down right here And that's much better So now I'm just going to press down on it then I have these sequins that you can get either from the Dollar Tree store or in the Scrapbook Expo. Wherever you get it, if you get it in the Dollar Tree store, they're only a dollar. You get it in the Expo, they're $2. So sometimes you can't get it in the Dollar Tree and it goes so quick. So, you know, for you to pay the extra dollar, you know, for certain colors, I would. Okay, so now I'm just going to use this purple sequins. And I'm just going to randomly add a couple of dots. I got three. So now I'm just going to put that right there. One right there. And the other one underneath the hey, cupcake. And that looks really good, guys. I love how the card came out and the colors are perfect so there you go guys there goes my card for mrs kate's cat challenge monthly challenge it is the theme is anything goes so i hope you like my card if you like this video please thumbs up subscribe let other people know share my video if you want to come follow me i'm on pinterest facebook Twitter, Instagram, definitely come on over and press subscribe, guys. Okay, I so do appreciate the support, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye now. Hey, cupcake. Then when you open it up, it says, Birthdays are a good are good for you. It is proven that, that the more birthdays you have, the longer you live. 
celebrate your day. I thought that was pretty cool. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.